Are you ready for round two? Yeah, we're following up. I mean, can I get that ding, ding, ding? <laughs> the attack on Denny Empire. The attack on Diddy's name. The attack on Diddy's brand. The attack on Diddy's kingdom is all at stake right now. And when you got 50 Cent out there, like, pushing this message, like, yo, this shit has been going on. Y'all just, y'all just showing up to the party. Right? <laughs> you stupid. Y'all, y'all 10 years late. But it's funny to me because I, I, I did a video and this was probably last week and I didn't know anything. I had to look into it. So I, I see a lot of people throwing shots in the messages, basically saying things like, yo, you don't know the shit you're talking about. I do, actually. I just, I'm just stupid. I'm just not the ones like you who just responds automatically shaming and saying guilty. Yeah, everybody wants to be the judge and jury of the situation without... The what, evidence and facts. What is wrong with you people? You can't just say somebody's guilty because somebody tells you a story. This is what's wrong with our society. Denied. That's what lawyers and courts are for, right? But how many men don't got Diddy money? How many men go through this every day and they lose everything? $100,000 is a lot to some men. Allegedly. $200,000 is a lot to some men. $50,000 is a lifetime for some men. So for you to sit here and throw allegations, it must be facts. It must be truth. So. Allegedly. I, I understand you guys want us to sit there and, 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 and destroy Diddy. I already said it in the first video. This can be the end of Diddy. This, this could be Diddy's, his, 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 his coffin. Yeah, you mentioned if if it's true, you don't respect it. I mean, this is not something 100 percent we co-sign, but we also know that right now everything is allegedly correct. Why would I sit here and co-sign any woman being sexualized? Or I mean, you do it to yourself, honestly. A lot of you do, so I'm not going to throw shots like that. But let's be honest. Today's market, internet, Facebook, Instagram. We can't even post shit on Facebook. We get ta we get tagged, but y'all here doing sexual shit and Facebook and Instagram let y'all get away with it. I post a video where a woman must act right. It gets shot, but a woman showing her ass crack is acceptable. Emotional, damn it. That's the society we live in. But listen, if Diddy did what he did, he's guilty. I don't support anybody going through anything like that i mean did y'all did y'all read the shit that cassie went through that shit it's crazy but hey it's allegedly it's allegedly into a court founds him guilty and yes his brand is being destroyed y'all this is why it's so important why you have these women sign these contracts bro i don't care if you worth fifty thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars a motherfucking million dollars or even a hundred million dollars. You must admit, you got to have these women sign these waivers, so you never get all the bro. Well, he did. He had he had a lot of NDA signed. But after the problem is after the fact. Hold on. If it's illegal, it's illegal. Listen, if he broke the law after the fact, he knew these cases was coming. Did he recently had all these? He basically gave back to the artists by saying, "Hey, you can have some of your rights to your music, but." We'll redo the contract, but you also have to sign a waiver speaking about me, talking about what we have done in business. So there's a few people who didn't sign that. They didn't sign that waiver because they already knew that they'll wait in their time and their place about the motherfucking money. Why is everybody acting like this ain't about fucking money? Why? But we get attacked on a platform because we talking real shit. It's all about the money. If you can walk away with $30 million, it was about the money. It's real victims out here. Hold on, hold on. It's real victims out here. They ain't getting money. But they ain't also getting justice. So why are we keep Allegedly. not understanding that, hey, it's not about the money. It's all about the money. You could tell the truth for free. Yeah. It's possible. It doesn't cost anything to tell the truth. But the issue is 
Why is everybody coming out now to attack Diddy? And it's sad, bro, because everything they taking away from him, his, it, it, I mean, he's stepping down from big businesses that's almost worth a billion dollars. I mean, this is this is what Andrew Tate talks about. You have to be very, very careful when you're in a position of power and you work your ass off. You have to protect your assets as men. We are living in a different world. Listen, men, we are living in a different world, a different time, period. Let's get into the uh, video here. We got a little clip, uh, just a snippet to see uh, what one of the updates are of this constantly evolving case here against and, Diddy. And, and like I said, this may be the end of Diddy. Yeah, let's take a look and see. At that time, people actually praised Diddy for being real and telling the girls the harsh truth about how the industry works. However, in light of all these recent allegations about Diddy trafficking young women and possibly men, these clips from Making the Band suddenly have a whole different vibe. Yeah. And now, on top of this, we're hearing from Gene Deal that Diddy allegedly made plans to drug Danity Kane members and pimp them out to other industry men. But there's some artists that didn't say anything, that didn't sign it, and they able to talk about anything they want to. And I think that's those girls that was, I think Danity Kane. I, I think a couple of them didn't sign it. Allegedly. And boy, oh boy, they probably gonna go after him too. Oh yeah. Cause I heard him and I'm giving you this, Aubrey. He stood up there and he said, in front of a lot of people, we were in the studio. And I said something to him and walked out the studio. He said, yo, I'm a drug their ass off and pick them out and, and, and pip them out to my, <laughs> pip them out to my nick. Allegedly. He said, I'm a drug them out. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna get them all on drugs and I'm gonna pimp their ass out to my nick. You stupid. And I was like, wow. Know somebody kids and walked out. Gotcha, bitch. And this actually lines up with what Cassie said in her lawsuit about Diddy forcing her into freak offs. All right, we're going to pause that right there. So one of his ex-bodyguards, this guy's been uh, all over YouTube and yeah. social media for the last week or month, something like that. And entertainment, you know, he's basically vouching for all these allegations. And right now, until there's some proof in a court of law, everything is allegedly, but how do we feel? He's saying Danny DK members were, I mean, you know, allegedly. white, drugged and pimped out, or that was the goal, and maybe it happened, maybe it didn't. They didn't sign the NDAs. The point is that we were trying to make last week, too, is all some people didn't sign NDAs, but why do you wait until a person, a victim, comes out? If you didn't sign it, why don't you say this from day one? I think, I think truthfully, uh, one of the members, I'm not going to say her name. We could probably bring this up later, another show, but one of the members uh, particularly says she was... Uh, uh, she was put in a position where Diddy made a, uh, many attempts on her to have sex with her. And allegedly, when she didn't do it, he kicked her out of the band. And she said that um, he, I mean, he sexualized them. And it was also told to her by someone that he, his plan was to pimp them and, and to uh, uh, use them as, 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 as females allegedly are in the industry like there's women who do this there and these are those these are the girls who getting signed today actually right think about it they got they got girls out here half naked walking around pregnant performing on stage to the streets. disrespecting the hip-hop culture at the highest and nobody saying shit where where are y'all at though like where snoop where's dre where eminem where 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 nas where jay-z where's where are these rappers that's not responding to this stupidity of where hip hop is. So the, the issue is very simple. You know what I mean? Diddy ran hip hop, right? It was him or was the other side? Who was the other side? Tupac Shakur. And, and all these allegations of what Diddy has done with females or men. Or men Allegedly. It's, it's all alleged. It's all allegedly. You can't, you can't sit here and say, hey, this is what it is. We don't know yet. This 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 door is just barely getting open. You know what I'm saying? This door is barely getting open. We don't we don't know where this is gonna go. So we all have to be very careful because you kids get sued 
just speaking about st- stupid shit you don't know. Celebrity people, news. People are going to be attacked. It's just the way it is. They're going to be attacked because some people see money. They see an opportunity to kick a man when he's down. I'm not protecting Diddy. None of us can protect him. This shit's going to happen. But y'all got to understand that artists, uh, celebrities who have worked with Diddy, they knew what Diddy was doing 10 years ago. You can't, you can't see here and act like y'all didn't know this shit. But now y'all want to kick this man when he's down. And if this is true, all these allegations, allegedly, if this shit, if this shit is true, it's the end of Diddy. I mean, you can't sit here and be on a throne like this in this world we live in as men and 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 make and make decisions like this because this is what's going to happen. You're going to be sitting there crying, wanting to off yourself and take your life because of something stupid. I always say this, and I'm going to keep saying this, from every successful man or most any man, every issue you have when it comes to your downfall is behind a woman. And people get offended by that. Allegedly. And it is allegedly. But I truly believe most men, go look at it. Go look at all our successful men today. The ones who run businesses and all that. They, they, their empires are being taken. Or they women's divorced them, taking half their wealth. It's crazy. Can you imagine giving, yeah. a, giving a woman $40 billion? What the fuck she needs with 40? I mean... Let alone a billion dollars. Can you imagine being a millionaire and you built 20 million your whole lifetime? It took you 20 years to get that. You've been with this woman five years and she takes like $10 million. You stupid. So these people see Diddy right now as a as a as as an opportunity, as a piggy bank. They going for the bag. $30 million. Cassidy got Cassie got $30 million. What is the next woman gonna get? What is the next woman going to get? It depends on the allegations. It could be a million dollars. It could be... I don't think it'll be more. I think she probably got the most out of everybody because she probably went through it the longest, allegedly, whatever it was. But, um, yeah, it's going to be millions. I said this on the last episode that this shit is going to cost Diddy 50 to $60 million. He already paid up 30 Allegedly. He's losing money, man. He just lost. Well, what was it? He just stepped down from um, can revolt. We, can we real quick? Yeah. Can we put up an article and just show it with a title? Yeah, with uh, with what happened with revolt just uh, the other day. Or was I mean, yesterday? we got we got we got six more minutes on this topic. I'm looking at my countdown right now. So if we could put up an article real quick and just 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 to give you guys an understanding. Yeah. We, how how much is that company worth? I mean, um, revolt. Let's take a look and see. I mean, Diddy, Diddy is still... I wonder if it lost any value during this time, but I, let's take a look and Diddy, see. Diddy still has value in the industry. He has a lot of play when it comes to investing into schools, into marketing companies, businesses. So every time you get an allegation and it gets bigger and bigger, they take things away from you. And this is what Andrew Tate was talking about. They, 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 they destroy your name, right? And they, how they do it is sexual allegations. How can I say this? They destroy your name by saying things that are allegedly by women, and then it turns into an uh, allegation that's sexual. And what happens is, if that don't destroy you, then they go after your money, and then they start going after your businesses. If that don't destroy you, then they try to commit murder. They try to assassinate you. And if that doesn't work, then they go out and try to get you locked up. So... You got to understand, we live in a time that's different for powerful men. Now, are these men doing bad things? Some are. Or they would say a lot are. But at the end of the day, Diddy's in a tough situation. I'm just going to keep watching and see how many people turn their backs on him. Because it seems like it, 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 it could be people in the family. I mean, here's a man that built an empire. What are y'all really going to do to Diddy? Y'all going to lock him up? You gonna put him? You gonna put him in in jail? Send him to court? What what are they investigating? Because now they also investigating the Tupac Shakur death. So did Diddy have a hand into the the killing of Tupac Shakur? Because it was saying it's a million dollars was the, was the 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 hit. 
was a million dollars. And the guy who did the hit didn't even get the money. And that's why Diddy never got his name involved into it. But I also remember Eminem throwing a shot at Diddy, but then he laughed it off into one of his diss songs when he was doing tours, I think, MGK. Right? So yeah, I, I, I'm just telling you guys, it's very simple, that all these things are allegedly, but can they be true? We don't know. We have to wait and watch. But can you imagine Diddy goes down not only for allegedly, so I have to be very careful how I'll say this. Allegedly. Can you imagine if Diddy goes down for two or one woman in a sexual case and then also be um, charged with the, 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 the behind killing of Tupac Shakur? Can you imagine how, how big that will be? That will be the biggest article written in history of hip hop. I don't care what anybody say. Diddy's a kingpin. I don't care what anybody say. Diddy's a king. I see you in the comments saying, how is Diddy a king in hip hop? That's what we call kings. Men who have built their empires like Diddy did and survived. You know what I mean? People try to take him out. He survived it. That's, that's, that's a king. By the way, Revolt's uh, net worth right now, it looks like they're estimating it between 27 and $40 million. So, I think it's worth more than that, but that's not going to, that's not, I mean, it's worth to step away from that, for real. They got a few hundred employees. I mean, I, I, I get that. I thought they were worth a little over $100 million, but it's worth to step away from that because it's a growing media company. $40 million, I mean, I mean, it, it ain't even worth more than some of these athletes' contracts. I think LeBron James get paid more than that. Yeah, I mean, he's, Diddy himself is worth $900 million to a billion. Right. But this is one of his companies. It came out in 2013, so it's only 10 years old. It looks like a maximum of $40 million is the estimate. You got to understand this, guys. Men or women. Because this can happen to women, too. It's just differently. It doesn't happen because men, we don't make reports when it comes to us being sexualized. You know what I mean? It just doesn't happen. You got to be very, very careful when you invest into your company and your business and you turn into somebody that's a self-made man. If you're a self-made man, this is for the millionaires. I'm talking to you. You know who you are. You have to protect your assets. Do not end up like Diddy. Do not end up like Will Smith. Do not end up like Harvey. Steve Harvey. Don't, don't end up like these men. Period. It is a dangerous road to be a man today. We must, we must go to the war and battle and compete harder. And once we get our wealth, we must, we must change the mindset of how to invest it. You must protect your family and your family tree. You can never let people attack you the way that is happening to Diddy, Will Smith, or Stephen Harvey. It's just, y'all guys, you got to, they never going to understand it. I don't care if you got one woman or three women or you got multiple women. I get it. But you must, you must keep these, all these people in line, bro. You must let them know. Stop playing the game. Tell the truth. My grandma always told me, if you tell the truth, you have more respect and you set yourself up for a power. Because the difference is if you're a liar and they, they build a relationship with you and they knew you lied from the beginning, they're never going to trust you. So you, you, must, you must build trust within your family. You must build trust within your business. You can't sit how and scam your own business or scam your family. Because this is what happens. You, become, you, be, you, you get enemies within the bloodline and they try to kill you because a lot of kings have fell within the cut of a family member. Trust me. But we're going to step out of this video. I, I swear to yeah. you guys, it's going to be much more when it comes to Diddy. I would just say this, Ramin. It, this is crazy. I, I think they would, Entertainment. He's stupid. they would say I'm stupid. But I truly think this may be the end of Diddy. And I do not want to say this. I truly don't want Diddy. I, I was just listening to his album he just dropped this year. It's classic. It, it, it's crazy all the artists he's working with and all what he has accomplished and it's all about to be just thrown in the trash. Thank you for watching the Cash Money Dreams podcast. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode.
It's your boy Cash, man.